Hey guys, Daddy's Gonna Race here. Today I'm going to introduce you to the C Magic haptic system for pedals. Uh, this system was originally designed for the P1000 pedals, but now C Magic released a control box so you can use it. You replace your P2000 control box with this new one, and you can use it on your uh, P2000 pedals as well. They are these motors, pretty much like a PlayStation haptic system that has these motors inside the controller. You are adding a motor to each pedal. So now let's go to the software and I'll show you the configurations. Now we are here uh, on the C-Magic uh, C-Pro Manager. And first thing you will notice is that when you reconnect your pedals, you will see that not only showing P2000, we will show you P2000 haptic and you know you will see when you click on the configuration that you can now only not set the the throttle shape and the things you usually do here and kind of bit but you have now this menu feedback and this is where you adjust the feedback the haptic motion for each pedal individually so you can adjust how strong you want the vibration to be also different frequencies like for filling the engine in the throttle and things like that I, I usually leave like higher frequency uh, uh, and you know I like to feel the clutch when the clutch hits the bite point so I turn it on here and you can also adjust the range for the clutch you can feel the ABS on the brakes uh, so when the ABS kicks in the pedal will vibrate uh, and this is the basic setting, so there's not a lot you can do actually here on the original piece of software for this. But what I recently found out, and that's what why they, they were all turned off here, it's because I'm actually using a Scene Hub to control these motors. And Scene Hub does a much better job in doing this. So let's take a look there. So here we are on Scene Hub, and uh, one of the things you will notice is that on Scene Hub you have a bunch of things besides just controlling your dashes. Uh, and one of the menus is the Shake It Motors. And here, if you go to the Motors output, you will see the C Magic P1000 and P2000 HPRs listed. So you can enable them. And once you do that, I recommend also going to Output Tuning because there, you know, you, you notice this menu <coughs> and you can adjust, you know, how you want, how and where you want the effects to appear. For example, uh, first of all, uh, same thing, you can calibrate the strength of the signal on each pedal individually. Um, there is a little glitch here, <laughs> uh, even with the, these button pedals are inverted, it doesn't actually work, but the clutch is the throttle and the throttle is the clutch, <laughs> in my case here. Uh, so I don't know, it's probably a glitch or something, but it doesn't affect all you need to consider is disregard what's written here and consider the first one, uh, the accelerator, the throttle, and the third one, the clutch. I double check on my box to see if I connected the cables wrong, but no, that's not the case. <laughs> uh, the cables are connected, connected properly. Uh, but as you can notice here, uh, besides having only those uh, on and off switches for each pedal, now we have specific behaviors like ABS active, the acceleration G-force, the deceleration G-force, the gear grinding, uh, you know, gear shifting, jump landing. Um, the jump landing actually, you know, separated by the front and rear tires. The lateral G forces, misted gears, road impacts, road rumble. So it's a lot of other behaviors. The engine, you know, rotation when TC and traction control becomes active. When the wheels lock, you know, those are all 
and the wheel lock and wheel sleep you can actually calibrate each wheel separately so these are amazing controls that when you go into effects profile now i can tell you know how much i want to feel my abs active i determine that you know i'll feel the abs active in all my three pedals uh, so you can feel it on all your three pedals my acceleration g-force so even though when i'm accelerating really fast I the you know the, you feel the wheel spin in the rear you will feel the vibration in the paddles one thing i noticed like even the the sound you know the, the accelerate when you are the, those very low areas of very little throttle you're applying because of the vibration you hear the vibration you know of the engine and the sound in the same way you would hear in the the real life car as you see on tv sometimes and i i never realized why was that and that's because of that the pedals are vibrating too so the the driver is maintaining acceleration but there is a vibration from the road and the engine on the pedal and that is so realistic the effect the immersion that it, it brings to the table it's amazing so you can have all of these controls here and adjust you know how much you wanted to feel the deceleration in the pedals uh, gear grinding uh, it's also really fun or the shifting you know you feel the shifting like you feel the shifting on on your uh, bass shaker like uh, uh, <coughs> the U-Shake 6 uh, from Scene Racing uh, Studio uh, or the butt kicker you know but you feel it on the pedals as well even the road rumble you know that is something that I was always missing and the, the vibration, you know, I can feel it now in the pedals and it, it's simply amazing. So if you're considering this, uh, adding this to your rig, it's totally worth it. And uh, just, you know, I wasn't aware, I was using just the basic settings and then someone told me, hey, you can control it with Scene Hub. And the guys at Scene Hub, again, I, I support them, I donate to Scene Hub. If you are in the scene racing community, I totally encourage you to do that because these guys do an amazing job uh, and you should support them because, uh, you know, they, they, they really deliver amazing controls for scene racers and can actually make your existing scene, rig, uh, scene racing hardware uh, work better, like in this example. So thanks for watching. I hope you find this information useful and see you in your next race.